The Minokin Farm was established in 2009 and uh, it's a conservation demonstration farm uh, based on using the, the five soil health principles. I'm kind of the overseer or manager of the Minokin Farm uh, and uh, have been since 2016. So uh, it's, I feel very privileged and honored to, to be able to do what I do. Uh, again, we have a good crew and a good staff uh, at Burley County Soil Conservation District and uh, it's a team effort uh, that makes everything work out here. It was the brainchild of the uh, Board of Supervisors at the time and uh, Jay Fear, the District Conservationist, uh, retired soil health specialist now uh, from NRCS. So. Well, what you'll see at the Minokin Farm is a wide variety of things and again everything is based on the soil health principles. Uh, our cropping system uh, is based on uh, diversity and, and minimal disturbance and uh, a green growing plant as long as possible and uh, cover crops and uh, livestock integration. Our grazing system again is based on uh, short duration uh, exposure, long rest and recovery times. Uh, we've got the high tunnels, the outdoor gardens, uh, all those things, uh, the arboretum, all those things uh, tie it together uh, along with our compost and, and our worm juice projects that we're doing now uh, all work towards the common goal of uh, trying to figure out uh, the ecosystem function and uh, how we can integrate that in the production model that we have in agriculture today. Well obviously the armor, uh, soil armor is, is huge. Uh, you, you need to protect the soil in order to uh, regenerate it and preserve it. Uh, you have the, the continual live root and so that means uh, green growing plants as long as uh, Mother Nature will allow you to do that. And of course it takes a green growing plant to build soils, uh, to build those uh, root exudates. Uh, of course minimal disturbance, uh, no-till. Uh, you cannot disturb uh, the land and uh, then of course livestock integration uh, is, a, is a key component, uh, one that's often overlooked and uh, diversity. again diversity of plants is uh, you know to have the warm season grasses, the cool season grasses, uh, the warm season broadleaves and the cool season broadleaves. Uh, diversity is a key in your cropping rotations and in your cover crop combinations. Mm -hmm.